Hello, my name is Gary Lewis. I'm going to be putting together a Traditions Trapper Pistol Kit. This is from muzzleloaders.com. This will be my third muzzleloader kit build and we're going to do it together. And now we're going to put the pieces together and see how things fit. And this is going to give me an idea if I need to do some more um, inletting or take some metal off of the trigger guard. Looks like I'm going to have to do that because that doesn't fit the way it comes. So I'm going to do a little work on that. And these are the products we're going to use to finish the project. This plum brown is going to be our choice for the barrel. And we're going to use the rusty walnut wood stain. Take that to the color we want. And then put the true oil finish on. We could go five coats or we could go seven or eight coats of this stuff to make it really deep. And then we're going to take that shiny brass and make it black. What I've done now is I've put some duct tape around the shaft of the screwdriver. The screwdriver is going to allow me to put the muzzle first down on the screwdriver shaft and now I'm going to wipe down the barrel with this mild detergent. I've sanded the barrel with 150 grit, grit and with 220 and now we've got the barrel in the condition I want it, but now I gotta degrease it. So that's what we're doing now is degreasing this while we get ready for our plum brown. We're gonna fire this up. Okay, so we've got a good flame going. I'm gonna heat this thing up. It's a little bit wet. This is gonna dry it off. We want the metal to be up to about 275 degrees. And that's now we'll shut this thing off. and we'll apply the brown.
Yeah. And what this is is a rust process. And it's going to be streaked first time we do it. And then we're going to put a, um, another coat on and another coat after that. But you can see it, it's um, starting that rust process very quickly. And looks like it's going to work. And this is the Trapper Pistol Kit from TraditionsandMuzzleLoaders.com. I'm done. I like it. It'll look good on the wall. It'll look good at the range. And it's ready to go.